I'm going to be continuing uh, <clears throat> from the last video, which is video number eight, I guess. Um, the problem that we have right now is um, how to uh, navigate from one website to the next without having to type in the uh, URL at the top. I mean, at the uh, <clears throat> the inside the browser without having to type the URL like page two, page three. Um, we can just have a school menu. So I'm going to place a vertical navigation, vertical navigation menu. And just like I did earlier on, remember when I uh, aligned the uh, content to the top in the middle section, I'm going to do the same thing for the navigation. So you want to select the, um, the cell, go to the style, don't forget, go to the style, go to the block and do the vertical align to be the top and click OK. So now uh, go to the menu, the navigation area and just choose the menu. Right, and as you can see, uh, everything has been dropped out for us. So now we have to choose a data source. Um, in summary, very, very briefly, a data source means just what it means, a data source. Where is the source for the data that is going to be displayed here? And that is what we have to choose. But because we don't have any data source, that's why we have none here. So now let's get a data source. So how do we have a data source? Right click and choose add new item. You're looking for a site map. You have to bear with me. It usually takes me time to find this. I don't know. Every time I want to add a site map file, I don't know. You probably have seen it before. Uh, okay, this is it. <clears throat> Thank God. That one, it takes me quick <laughs> to see today. You're looking for a sitemap. Just leave the name as it is. What does sitemap? I click on hard. Um, <clears throat> this is what you want to do. It's going to display this um, very, very brief uh, file for you. And this is where you modify things. So here. You want to display, the, you want to input the URL of the page. You remember the URL uh, of each page. So the first URL here is, um, you want to add this squiggle. It's called squiggle. I don't know if that's what it's called, but that's what I had been called. Squiggle, that. You want to add a slash and the name of the website, dot ASPX. The name of the page, sorry. Do you understand? The title, this will be shown on the link on page. This is what's going to be showing on the navigation link. And the description, you just give it a description. This is the home page. <coughs> I want to do that for page two and page three. So do the same thing here. There you go. Slash page two. .aspx. Don't forget the ASPX is very essential. Sometimes I forget. And I just say page 2. That's what's going to be displayed. And uh, just a small description. This is page 2. This is just a description. Now you want to add that for page 3. So all you have to do is just uh, follow the same thing. You get this. You say URL equals just had it uh, page three dot ASPX type to equals page three. Can you see that we're getting help? Okay. And uh, description equals this is page three. And you just want to close that. Just like you do on HTML. So we have our sitemap. We've populated it with the um, if you have more than every time you had a page, you have to come here to add it. And uh, if you very quick, click on close. It's going to have you want to save it. Do you want to save changes? Of course. Want to save changes? We have the changes. So now, now that we have our sitemap, we have to connect it to this menu. So now we have to go to the data source. Remember, we couldn't choose a data source, but now we can select new data source here. So our data source is sitemap. Remember, we just create a sitemap. Click on sitemap. Specify an ID for the data source. You can 
just uh, leave it as the default just click and okay so we've connected to the our sitemap uh, just leave everything everything it will be explained in the future and it's been connected it sitemap so why are we not seeing our main image reasons because we have to modify the uh, hold on the menu I'll show you oh, where is there I'm always looking for this is the static uh, static Okay, yeah. Start with display level. Uh, oh, sorry. Start with display level. Sorry, it's two. I want to choose the start with display level to be two. I'll tell you why it's two in a minute. If you open the web dot sitemap again, you can see this. This is the first node, isn't it? Actually, this is the zero one. To, if you get what I mean, so which means you can actually easily have a uh, sub menu within a menu. I have a menu with sub menu because if I input anything here and I say it should start at one, that means this one will be the sub menu. Don't worry, I'll explain what I mean. So if you go back to the can you see now we said the uh, static display level should be two. If you say one, because if you say one, it's not going to display anything. Because if you look at the web the site map, this is the first node, and there's nothing in there. If I put items in there now, that means this one will be the sub menu for this. Do you understand? I'm sure you do. You're very smart. Okay, so let me get out of there and let me change the menu. It's very easy to find. You see. This is not what you want to select. You want to select the main, the menu. So let's select the menu from here, and uh, get the property and change the static display level to be two. To be two. Okay. So now that we have our static display level to be two, let's run our application. Let's run our default.asp.net application. Do not refresh from the place that I control it's because we deleted the previous content placeholder to and you know this we haven't saved it that's why it's telling us that there are some errors <coughs> the, the errors will disappear uh, it hasn't disappeared okay I'll tell you how to fix it it's not a problem uh, if we because uh, if we go to the source you can see that it has added the content placeholder to uh, all we just have to do is just do it, isn't it? Uh, ASP content, ID content, three runs, server content, this is the uh, content. Just delete the culprit. We don't need the culprit there. Let's save it. Does the same thing happen to our page two? Um, let's see, page two source. No, it's good. Okay, let's run our application again. It's because I deleted the uh, content place order to remember in the previous example anyway we're back to so now we have a menu we can go to our default page our page two our page three so we've got a menu we've got a menu so we're happy hands we we're happy glad it's changing so that's how you do your menu oh before i go quickly uh let me see if i can oh no don't worry i'll do this in the next video thank you